Um, very excited to be here today. As Adam mentioned, uh, prior to Skydio, I was with the Chula Vista Police Department for 27 years. And it was during my time as UAS commander that Cape Termas and I began working on a unique use case for drones in everyday policing. We worked with a great team at Chula Vista PD to go from concept to reality, showing public safety everywhere how to routinely use drones to de-escalate, increase situational awareness, and reduce response times. In fact, today is exactly five years to the day that we officially named this concept Drone as First Responder, or DFR, and now DFR is known worldwide as the ultimate public safety drone case, drone use case. So I'm very excited to demonstrate how the Skydio team can bring that life-saving capability to your community through patrol-led DFR. Let's uh, begin the live demo now. Hi, Frank. I have a call pending in your area near 223 Halleck. Caller states the female appears disoriented, uh, talking to herself and carrying a knife. Subject is a white female, thin built, blue shirt, gray pants, black boots. No threats or reports of injuries at this time. Be advised, I don't have any other available units right now. Hi, Frank. I copy. Uh, I I saw the call come over on the CAD system. I'm staged about a block south with the Skydio X10. Do we have any DFR pilots available? A DFR one, I'm monitoring. I'm available to assist. Hi, Frank, the DFR one. You're clear to launch and show me switching to Axon Body 4 for recording and comms. A DFR one copies. I have you loud and clear on Axon Respond, and I'm launching now. Hi, Frank, copy. And DFR1 got a good feed. And just a heads up, uh, you may have a jogger heading to you right now. All right, Frank, I see you. DFR1, be advised, we might have a possible underneath the bridge north of us. Copy that. I'll head that way. I'll, uh, I'll start the search now. I'll go down low and look underneath there with the thermal. Copy. I'm going to clear this parking lot and continue north. Copy that. And got the thermal on. So far, no heat sources. Appears clear under the bridge. Still looking. 10 4. And DFR 1. I actually might have a possible here. It's under the northeast corner of that uh, building in the crawl space. Appears to match. It's a female. Uh, definitely uh, talking to herself. She actually has a large fixed bladed knife in her right hand. That's so, Just hang by, hang there. I think she's keyed in on my drone. Affirm. She sees my drone. She's coming out and still has a knife. Actually, she's putting the knife down now. She's got the knife down now. She's got her hands up, surrendering, surrendering to the drone. Uh, she might, you might be able to reach out and uh, call to her now. Bye, right, Frank. I see her. I'm going to call her out to me now. Miss! Miss! Police department! Come on over this way. You all right? You have any other weapons on you? And DF okay. Keep DFR your hands up. Come towards me. DFR1, uh, as soon as you can clear code 4, I'm going to have to clear for a uh, nearby missing child. All right, DFR1, you're clear to disengage. Uh, she's requesting to go to the hospital. We're going to be code four here. Thank you for the backup. Copy that, DFR1. Good job. I'm out. So, just in case that wasn't totally clear, that was all live. An X10 just flew remotely over 5G, controlled from right here in the Cal Theater. Now, the beautiful thing about what you just saw is you can do it today. It fits into existing drone operating paradigms. The X-10 can be carried in the trunk of a police car, and if an officer on scene needs extra support, they can put it on the ground, and they can get virtual, real-time support from a real-time crime center, somebody flying overhead, looking around corners, 
helping them get the information that they need. And the X10's autonomy enables that to be done at low altitudes to get the vantage point you need. It's really, really incredible stuff.